debt tax free? I don't know. Because that's how money is created. Like I said, money doesn't make you rich, it makes you poor. That's why the wealthy don't have money. They have debt and they have assets. And they use their debt to buy more assets. Then they leverage those assets to borrow more money. Then they use that money to buy more assets. Lending is largely how money is circulated into the economy. The more debt there is, the more money there is, and therefore the more inflation there is, which raises the value of their assets relative to the now devalued money supply at the expense of regular people who have been convinced that saving money will make you rich. It won't. It's also how the wealthy get away with not paying their taxes. If you own a company or a corporation, you could pay yourself a fat salary and buy more assets with your own money. But then you'd have to pay a fair amount of income tax to reimburse the system that created the growth, that created your wealth in the first place. So you'd be much better off just getting a big fat loan tax free and buying an asset that will appreciate in value and pay for itself via the inflation created by the debt you created to buy the asset with in the first place. It's a circle. You have contributed nothing here. So the question becomes, where does the value come from? Well, we should all know by now that inflation makes prices go up, right? So let's just, you know, for argument's sake, say that the price of bread were to roughly double. What changed there? I mean, the bread didn't change. It's the same amount of butter, the same amount of flour. It fills your belly just as much as it always did. So what changed is the amount of time it takes you to earn enough money to buy the bread with. The bread isn't worth twice as much. Your time, your energy, your effort, your labor, your life is worth half as much as it used to be. And that's what fuels our system. That's what creates the corporate growth that creates the jobs we're always told we're so lucky to have. That's why your grandparents could afford a house on a single income with no education and you never will. That's why the economic forum tells us in the future we will own nothing and we will be happy about it because that is the plan. There is no plan to return the world to a situation where normal people have the freedom to pursue economic independence. We are being sacrificed on the altar of corporate hegemony and there is very little time to turn back. But you know, have a good day.